The important takeaway from that last slide is that sometimes the logic of arguments can be very complicated or can appear very complicated, but if we can see what the pattern is, we can figure out whether the logic is good or not. And I want to spend a minute talking about this logical form or the logical pattern of argument so we understand how it is that this works and how it is that this makes helps us in deciding if a conclusion follows from the premises or not. Now notice our key assumption or the key claim that I made was that that first argument and that second argument are parallel. They follow the same pattern. And let's see, what is it that makes this logical pattern? And if you look at it, premise one in the first argument says all racists do something, support restrictions on voting rights. Premise one of the second argument, all men have a certain characteristics are human. So notice the pattern of both of these arguments, at least the first premise is all things in group A, in some group, have some characteristic, let's call it B. Now let's look at the second premise. Rand Paul supports restrictions on voting rights, saying that a certain person has some characteristic. Second premise of our second argument, Hillary Clinton has a certain characteristic, the characteristic of being human. So we identify a thing and we're saying this thing has characteristic B. And the conclusion is that Rand Paul is a racist, that is, this thing that we've identified, this individual, is a member of that first group. Same thing, premise three of the second argument. Hillary Clinton is a member of the group of men. So we see that what, the reason these are parallel arguments is that they have that same logical pattern. And one way of explaining what that logical pattern is is the pattern that we've put right up there on the screen. That is, all things in group A have characteristic B. This thing has characteristic B. Therefore, this thing is in group A. And we know that this is not any argument that follows. This pattern is a bad argument. That is, the conclusion does not follow from the premises.